Here's a lesson for you kids. Ghost hunters always wash their hands after using the toilet. And on that note, what's happening guys? My name is Adam, aka Speedy Spectrum, and welcome back to Let's Play and Dub Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS. In the last episode, we started our exploration of Area 2 and released all of the booze that were hiding in the mansion, even managing to catch some of them. And in this episode, we are going to continue exploring Area 2. Speaking of booze, I did something off screen. I decided to head back to the ballroom. Excuse me! Get in there! You are not being helpful. As I was saying, I headed back into the ballroom and managed to capture that boo that escaped from me last time. And that is why my boo counter reads 8 out of 50 instead of 7. Now that that's taken care of, we are going to go ahead and unlock the door with the key that we received in the washroom. And this is a very special room. We're going to be visiting it quite a few times for reasons I will later disclose. This is the fortune teller's room. And, as its name would suggest, there is indeed a fortune teller here. We will talk to her momentarily, but we want to uh, pull out the Game Boy Horror and inspect this wedge of cheese right here. Yes indeed, it's another gold mouse and wow! Man, I captured him instantly. How's that for perfect positioning? Not to mention we got another sapphire, so that's rather nice. Before we talk to the fortune teller, let's go ahead and... Ooh, gold bar. Nice. Is there anything in here, I wonder? Ooh, bills and coins galore. All right. Now that the fortune teller's room has been properly looted, let us speak with said fortune teller. So we need to shine our light on the crystal ball, and I'm doing a rather crappy job of it right now. There she is! Say hello to one of my favorite ghosts in the entire game. This is Madame Clairvoya, the freaky fortune teller. What do you seek of me? I am Madame Clairvoya, seer of dropped items. Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I will show you the extent of my vision. Unlike the other portrait ghosts we've met in the game, Madame Clairvoya serves as an ally. As she mentioned, we need to bring any dropped items belonging to a certain somebody back to her, and then she'll help us out. But since we currently don't have any items, instead we're going to walk through this door right here, which leads us to the mirror room. And if you can't figure out why it's called the mirror room, well, then you need to get your eyes checked. And we are introduced to a new ghost. These are Blue Grabbers. I don't know if that's their actual name or whatnot, but they're Grabbers and they're colored blue. No! Oh, get off! Get, get in the vacuum! These guys are rather annoying because they are invisible. However, as the saying goes, the mirror never lies. You need to use their reflections in the mirror to track their positions. Really? That wasn't it? There are more of them? Oh jeez, there are two of them already. Alright, get in here, buddy. I also love their flavor animation. That's rather humorous. I love that sound. There we go. Now everything is lit up, and that chest certainly looks different from the ones we've found so far. Let's see what's inside. And it's something we've never seen before. It does look rather cool, and there's an emblem of a flame on it. 
but thankfully the professor is here to help us out. Hmm? Hey now, Luigi, what have you found there? Let's take a look at that. A fire element medal. Now you can use the fire element. Yes, sir. With that, you can catch fire elemental ghosts. Hmm? What's a fire elemental ghost, you ask? Why, they show up wherever you see fire, my boy. They're ghosts of fire itself, if you will. If you approach a flame, they'll be surprised by your presence and leap out into the air. Then you vacuum them up right away. After that, you can expel fire with the L button. You can melt ice, like candles do all kinds of stuff. A meter will appear next to your health, so keep an eye on how much element you have left. Okay, fella? You may have to use the fire element to defeat some ghosts. Keep that in mind, Sonny. Don't say I never warned you. Oh. If you remember one of the books we found in the study, they talked about elemental ghosts. Well, now that we have a metal, we can catch said elemental ghosts of said type. When you vacuum a source of fire, a fire elemental ghost will appear, and if you vacuum it up, as you saw in the bottom right-hand corner, now we have an elemental meter. But first, let's see if we can find a boo. Oh, no, that's a boo ball. I think this is actually the first time we've encountered a boo ball. Boo balls do absolutely nothing, so you can just shoot them to get rid of them. Yeah. And are you in this candle, I wonder? No, you are not. Where are you? Mario. Perhaps you're in the drawer. Yeah. No! Okay, Mario. where are you? Come on, come out, come out wherever you are. Well, you just cackled, Mario. so maybe you switched your location oh, yeah. to, uh, here? Yeah. All right, I am stunned. Where is this guy? There you are! Hello, Kung Fu! <laughs> Kung Fu's no match for Luigi Fu, though! Ha 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 ha! Well, that brings our total up to nine, which is rather nice. We're almost one-fifth of the way there. Egad's telling us about the Game Boy Horror search function, but I've already explained that. Despite the fact that we do have the fire element metal, the door is not unthorned. What we need to do is we won't need to uh, light all of these candles with the fire element. Yes, indeed. Not only can the poltergust suck, it can blow as well. And, uh, okay, that actually... Didn't come out the right way. <laughs> Moving on. Back in the fortune teller's room, we need to light all of these candles with the fire element. And once we do that, ta-da! A key appears on that pedestal. So let's obtain it. Look at me, I got a key. That key is going to unlock the door on the far side of this hallway. But there's something that we have to take care of first. And believe it or not, it's in the hallway. So we're going to head back in the direction... Go away! Go! Ugh. These bowling ghosts just love to troll you, don't they? Get in there! No one likes you. All right, check it out. It's a floating candelabra. Candelabra. I always love that word. But that candelabra is not floating on itself. If we use the Game Boy Horror, guess what? It's another portrait ghost. Hello there. Let's hear what you have to say. Oh, the beautiful melody will not even give me the time of day. What must I do to win her? Passion. Yes, that's it. I will show her I burn for her. My unbridled passion will scorch her soul. Well, if it's a scorching you want, I'm happy to oblige. Ah, oh, fire! Run away! Run away! Meet our next portrait ghost, Shivers. 
the butler. He's afraid of fire, which makes me question why he's holding a candelabra in the first place. But I suppose we can worry about that later. For now, we need to follow Shivers all the way down. And for some reason, he heads in this direction and then turns back. <laughs> I don't understand the logic behind that. But just ignore everything in the hallway and follow him. We're going to unlock the door with the key that we obtained, which brings us to the laundry room. We'll clear this room momentarily, but since we're chasing shivers, we're going to head through this door. Into the butler's room. So shivers is going to sit down eventually. There we go. And now we can vacuum him up! There are mice that crawl around, which makes it not much more difficult. He's honestly a pretty easy capture. If I can just get him in... Yes! In you go, my friend! And I gotta say, for a butler's room, this place is pretty cluttered. I mean, there's toilet paper everywhere. He dropped pearls. Not exactly what I would call a good housekeeper. Anyway, let's open this chest and we get yet another key. Very nice. That key is going to unlock yet another door on the first floor, but there are a few things we have to take care of, namely Abu. Hello there, Peekaboo. And you don't have very much HP, so you're a pretty easy capture. I won't be playing Peekaboo with you ever again if you catch my drift. So now we have 10 of the 50 Boos captured, so EGAD is going to tell us something interesting. Ghosts other than Boos will not appear in the direction you're looking, so you'll have to sneak up on him backward. But I bet you already knew that, huh? Yeah, we kind of did. Oh, EGAD, always telling us the obvious. I still love you, though. Before we do anything else, we want to make sure that we have some fire element, and we do. This candle will also give us some fire. I want to check this pail over here. Inside is a sapphire. Very easily missed. Make sure you grab it. But that's not the only thing that we can do while we're here. We're going to go over to this wall and pull out the Game Boy Horror. Because right here is a mouse hole. And when we scan it... And move towards it? Check it out! Mm -hmm. A secret room! This is the hidden room! One of two secret rooms in the mansion. As such, it's completely optional. Oh, hello there! You are an ice ghost! And I actually don't remember what your name is. I think it's a temper terror. Or is that the water ghost? I'm not sure. But these guys' hearts are encased in ice. So you will need to use the fire element to melt their hearts. And once they're exposed, you can vacuum them up. Or if you want to be really cheap, you can just use the fire element to burn them away. Oh yeah. I just love how they flail around. You can see that they're actively trying to scare Luigi. There we go. Ooh, and there was some money hidden in that chandelier. Very nice. Hello there, and good bye. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I think these goblets hold, oh yes, they do hold money. Very good. As I mentioned before, the hidden room is completely optional, but if you are looking for the best possible ranking, very much worth your time to go out of the way for the massive amounts of treasure that's hidden. Case in point. Oh yeah, that's a lot of cash. And check it out. There's one of each gem that we received. So we got a ruby. We got a sapphire. And as the cherry on top, we also collect an emerald as well. I think this is the only instance of that happening in the game where you receive all three types of gems. But alas, the adventure must continue. And we have a boo to catch. Yeah. Oh, that's a boo ball. That's not going to help us. 
Usually, it's hiding in one of the chests. But I just want to get rid of this boob also. It doesn't impede our progress. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where is it, I wonder? Oh, yeah. Are you here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, where could it be? All right, I'm kind of... I'm kind of... Oh, never mind. I don't care, because I can collect more treasure. All right, now where are you hiding? Yeah. I gotta admit, he's doing the oh, best yeah. job so far hiding from us. There you are, Gumboo! In you go! That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. So the hidden room is cleared, and I think we actually managed to uh, reach an achievement for unlocking one of the secret rooms. So when you're ready to leave, uh, scan the mouse hole once m I said, scan the mouse hole once more. Thank you very much. Hmm? And now that we're done, we can go into the laundry room. I should tell you, I need to tell you something rather interesting about that uh, element meter. That was originally going to be something very different in the early stages of the game because elements didn't exist. Instead, that meter was a heat meter for the Poltergust 3000. You see, if you had it on for an extended period of time, the meter would fill up. And if it reached its maximum, the Poltergust would explode and Luigi would lose half of his health as a result. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that they decided to take that out. And speaking of taking things out, we're going to clear this chest of its contents. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, hello there. I didn't actually intend to uh, start searching for you up until now. Oh! <laughs> it's a room I can't get to yet. Oh. And the reason why I'm so frustrated is that this door is in fact a fake. Speaking of which, there is another way you can tell the difference between fake doors and real ones. Fake doors will burn with fire. Oh, we actually managed to unlock another achievement. Very nice. We're not quite done in the laundry room just yet. The next thing we need to do is we need to inspect this washing machine and check it out. You found Mario's hat, and it's been laundered recently. Now, if you remember what Madame Clairvoya said, she said she could help us if we found one of Mario's items. Well, guess what? We found the first of five. Yes, there are five of Mario's items altogether that we must find. So let us hear what Madame Clairvoya has to say. <laughs> no, don't take out the Game Boy Horror, Luigi. Talk to her. Hmm? What is this object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. What is this? If it isn't Mario's hat, why it's so clean, as if someone just washed it! I'm uh, sorry, sometimes I like to add a little drama, you know? Hmm? Just one moment. Did I just say Mario? Could it be that Mario? Oh, I see now. <laughs> well, I see everything, so I saw it before. But now I really see it. So you are the brother of the famous Mario, and you have come to this place to find him. Well, aren't you a good little brother? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't laugh much. Oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. Uh, I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits come. 
show us what we seek. Oh, I see. Your Mario lives. Well, he's not in the spirit world, but one cannot say he is alive. <laughs> Where is he now? The spirits fall silent. Ah, oh, this is all I can tell you for now. Bring to me another clue, and I will show your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. Okay, well, Mario is alive. That's good. But we're going to see if we can find him in the next episode. See you guys next time.